This is a body lotion. It's a luxury body lotion, which has some uh, special mineral oil. Soap, shampoo, shower gel and more. A true success story about an entrepreneur who had a heart and started from close to nothing. Here at Interconsumer Products in Nairobi, Kenya, one man did it all. We are in the manufacturing of uh, beauty and personal care products. It's a company which I started 15 years ago. Actually, I didn't have money. I had uh, about uh, 3,000 Kenya shillings. That's about uh, 30, 30 euros. That's what I had when I started the business. And uh, what I was doing was uh, to manufacture shampoo in my bathroom. And then I used to take the shampoo to the sarums where they used to use the shampoo to wash their, uh, their heads. Uh, the shampoo proved to be quite popular with the hair dressers, the hair sarums. And uh, the demand grew very, very, very much. And that's why I kept on expanding uh, the, the, the capacity to produce. Due to the quality I was producing and uh, the product being available and the price, the demand grew very much and then I kept on introducing other products. When I, I used to do the marketing myself and whenever I used to interact with the hairdressers, when I used to visit their sarums, they could ask me for specific products and then what I could do is to research on those products then start producing them and uh, we have become one of the biggest local manufacturers of uh, personal care and uh, cosmetics. Producing a variety of shampoos, conditioners, shower gels and soaps, Nice and Lovely is getting to the top fast. But besides the production, they also teach classes. How is that going? Are you enjoying uh, your stay here? What we do is uh, we have a program with the hairdressing schools where they bring their students here for refresher course and advanced training on how to use our, our products. Every week we are visited by close to 200 hairdressers who come to see how we make the product and then we teach them how to use the product. So we have that heritage. This is one of our test laboratory where we in R&D, where each and every product which we make, each and every batch we must make use it to make hair before you release it to the market. You know, a doctor prescribes your medicine. So the hairdressers act like our doctors. They, whenever people come, they want to, to do beauty, they want to have their hair done, they prescribe our product. And that way we have grown with it. So we do sell to the supermarkets, we do sell to the wholesalers, we do sell to the convenience stores. But our strength is because of the relationship we have with the hairdressers. Paul Kenodia knows what's important, but the key to his success also lies in knowledge. Here at the USIU, they give classes to help run your business. The program is structured in such a way that, obviously, they've been in business, they've made mistakes, they've made right decisions, they've learned. When they come to the center, we give them the building blocks. Why this? Why that? Why make this kind of decision? So we give them the basic building blocks, but we try to make the uh, sharing of experiences much more uh, in the sense that they have the solutions themselves. We give them structure. Unfortunately, that title pertains to a lot. Uh, one of the course I did was more on uh, trying to study case studies of uh, global institutes or global organizations. How do they operate? How do they work? The mistakes they have done, how have they grown? How did they mitigate the challenges they had? And uh, that we have been able now to look at uh, my company from a global, global scale. And that we are able to look at my strategy, I'm able to look at uh, 
the threat in the uh, which which affects businesses and i've tried to come up with mitigants to ensure that this business survives in the next 20 30 years beauty The, one of the biggest mistakes I made was to borrow money without uh, knowing exactly where I need to invest that money. And uh, I didn't have a clear roadmap in terms of I'm borrowing this money to, to move this business from point A to point B. And I ended up doing a lot of mistakes because what I did was uh, I invested some of that money, most of that money in Uganda and Tanzania. But by then I had not built structures to support the business there. So I lost all the money which I had plus I, I kept on accumulating more and more debts as I tried to, to put structures. But by the time I had to shut those operations, I'd done a lot of damage that the company was almost put under receivership. I'm seeing as a, being the biggest uh, consumer company in the, in the region, that is in the sub-Saharan region in the next 10 years. I'm seeing as an employing close to about 5,000 people. I'm seeing a turnover of close to about uh, uh, 25 billion Kenya shillings. And they will be controlling close to about 30% of the market share. That's what I'm seeing in the next 10 years. As a person, I believe in success. I believe that uh, you need to succeed and you need to work hard. Other than the basic knowledge of uh, the, the industry in the market, I personally put a lot of effort and a lot of uh, energy in my business to ensure that it succeeds.